an extraordinary series of events unfolded a few years back when I found myself in the market for a new car. My trusty old vehicle, which had faithfully served me four years, finally gave up the ghost, determined to find a reliable replacement. Without breaking the bank, I turned to Craigslist, where I stumbled upon what seemed like a too-good-to-be-true deal. The listing was sparse on details, but it boasted of a well-running car with low mileage. Intrigued, I wasted no time reaching out to the seller, who responded promptly, offering a same-day viewing. Meeting at a Target parking lot, I was greeted by a man named Jim, who matched the description in the ad. After a brief test drive, I was convinced the car was a steal, and without much thought, I sealed the deal. Little did I know, the car held a secret a hidden compartment beneath the front passenger seat, containing a substantial sum of cash. Shocked by my unexpected windfall, I grappled with the ethical dilemma of what to do with the money. Consulting with a friend, we decided to track down the previous owner and return the funds, suspecting they might have forgotten about it. However, events took a sinister turn when I discovered that the previous owner along with an accomplice, had broken into my home in search of the hidden cash. Terrified but undeterred, I alerted the authorities and, fortunately, thwarted their attempts in another peculiar incident. While working at an auto parts store, I encountered a bizarre encounter with a mysterious individual. Alone in the store during a late night shift, a stranger entered, behaving erratically. His unsettling demeanor escalated into a chase, leaving me shaken but unharmed, but the strangeness didn't end there. On a quiet evening, as I made my way home from work, my car suddenly stalled in a desolate area, stranded and unable to contact roadside assistance. I found myself at the mercy of a menacing figure of cloud, of all things, donning a mask and chasing me through the night. A similar sense of dread resurfaced. When I discovered an uninvited guest, someone attempting to sell their car on my property, without permission, despite confronting the trespasser, their presence persisted, culminating in a late night encounter outside my home. Even routine trips to the store turned unnerving, with encounters with strangers taking a sinister turn, from odd inquiries about automotive products to unsettling pursuits in parking lots, I found myself ensnared in a series of inexplicable events, leaving me on edge and wary of the world around me. In the end, these bizarre encounters serve as a reminder of life's unpredictability, urging vigilance and resilience in the face of the unknown. Each incident, though unsettling, reinforced the importance of trusting one's instincts and navigating the murky waters of uncertainty with caution and courage. As the echoes of my previous encounters faded into memory, I found myself lulled into a false sense of security. Little did I know, the events that followed would plunge me into a harrowing nightmare, from which there seemed to be no escape. It began innocuously enough a routine visit to the local diner for a late night snack. The diner was nearly deserted, save for a few patrons scattered throughout the dimly lit interior, settling into a booth near the window. I ordered my usual and attempted to push aside the lingering unease from my recent experiences, but as I glanced out the window, my heart plummeted into my stomach. Across the street, obscured by the shadows, stood a figure clad in a tattered clown costume, its ghastly visage illuminated by the flickering street lamp. Dismissing it as a trick of the mind, I tried to focus on my meal, but an inexplicable sense of dread gnawed at my insides with every passing moment. The figure seemed to draw closer, its haunting presence casting a pall over the once familiar surroundings. Frantically, I sought refuge in the comforting embrace of the diner, but the sense of impending doom lingered like a dark cloud, suffocating the air with its malevolent presence. As the night wore on, the diner grew emptier still, the dwindling staff casting nervous glances in the direction of the looming spectre outside. Sensing the growing tension, 
I made a hasty retreat, eager to leave the oppressive atmosphere behind, but as I stepped outside, I was met with a sight that froze me in my tracks. The clown, now standing mere feet away, its hollow eyes boring into mine with an intensity that sent shivers down my spine. With a guttural growl, it lunged forward, its grotesque form contorting in an unnatural display of aggression. Panic seizing hold of my senses, I bolted down the empty street, the sound of my pounding heart drowning out the cacophony of my pursuers' unearthly shrieks. With each step, the world seemed to blur into a nightmarish haze, the line between reality and hallucination growing ever thinner. But just as I thought I had outpaced my relentless tormentor, I stumbled upon a scene straight from the depths of my darkest nightmares. A gathering of figures, their faces obscured by masks and cloaked in shadow, stood ominously before me, their silent vigil signalling the beginning of a twisted ritual, trapped in a waking nightmare. I found myself ensnared in a web of terror from which there seemed to be no escape. With every passing moment, the boundaries of sanity blurred, leaving me teetering on the precipice of madness dot in the midst of the chaos. A single thought pierced through the fog of fear the realization that the horrors I faced were not. Mere chance encounters, but a sinister orchestration of malevolence far beyond my comprehension. As the night descended into madness, I clung to the flickering embers of hope, praying for the dawn to break and cast aside the suffocating darkness that threatened to consume me whole. But in the heart of the abyss, where shadows reign supreme, the line between nightmare and reality blurs into oblivion, leaving only the chilling whisper of the unknown echoing in the depths of the soul. In the wake of the harrowing encounter at the diner, a suffocating sense of paranoia gripped me like a vice, casting a pall of fear over every aspect of my daily life. No longer could I find solace in the familiar routines that once brought comfort, every shadow seemed to conceal a lurking menace. Every stranger a potential harbinger of doom, haunted by visions of the malevolent clown and the enigmatic figures that had crossed my path. Sleep became an elusive luxury, as nightmares played my restless nights with visions of grotesque horrors and unspeakable terrors. Each waking moment was punctuated by the gnawing sense of dread, an ever-present reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the veil of normalcy, desperate for reprieve. I sought refuge in the bustling anonymity of the city, hoping to lose myself amidst the throngs of anonymous faces that populated its crowded streets. But even amidst the cacophony of urban life, the spectre of fear lingered, a shadowy presence that trailed my every step look of a malevolent shadow. It was during one such foray, into the heart of the city, that I stumbled upon a dilapidated theatre, its faded marquee bearing. The cryptic inscription, Enter If You Dare, drawn by a morbid curiosity that bordered on madness. I pushed open the creaking doors and stepped into the dimly lit interior, the stale air heavy with the scent of decay and neglect. As my eyes adjusted to the gloom, I found myself confronted by a scene straight from the depths of nightmare, a macabre carnival of horrors that defied comprehension. Twisted creatures cavorted, Amidst the decaying grandeur of the theatre, their contorted forms illuminated by flickering candlelight and the sickly glow of neon. But it was not the grotesque spectacle before me that filled me with dread, but the knowledge that I was not alone in this twisted realm. From the shadows emerged a host of sinister figures, their faces obscured by grotesque masks and their intentions shrouded in mystery. With each passing moment, the boundaries of reality seemed to blur, leaving me adrift in a surreal dreamscape where nightmares reigned supreme. Every step forward carried me deeper into the heart of darkness, each encounter more terrifying than the last, until I found myself teetering on the brink of madness. It was amidst this maelstrom of horror that I stumbled upon a revelation that shook me to my core. Truth so unspeakable, so unimaginable, that it threatened to unravel the very fabric of my sanity, for lurking beneath the facade of normalcy lay a malevolent force, a sinister cabal 
that pulled the strings of fate with a cruelty that defied comprehension, faced with the chilling realization that I was but a pawn. In a game of cosmic proportions, I knew that escape was futile. Trapped within the labyrinthine corridors of my own mind, I found myself confronted by the darkest recesses of the human psyche, each revelation more horrifying than the last. As the tendrils of madness closed in around me, I clung to the flickering flame of hope, praying for salvation from the abyss that threatened to consume me whole. But in the end, there can be no escape from the shadows that lurk within, no reprieve from the horrors that dwell in the darkest depths of the soul. For in a world where nightmares walk among us, and reality is but a fragile illusion, the line between sanity and madness is drawn in blood, and the only certainty is the chilling whisper of the unknown. In the aftermath of the theatre's chilling revelations, I found myself thrust into a labyrinth of terror from which there seemed to be no escape. Each passing moment only served to deepen the sense of dread that gripped me like icy tendrils coiling around my soul, threatening to drag me into the abyss. Haunted by the twisted spectres that had invaded my reality, I retreated further into the darkness of my own mind, seeking refuge from the horrors that lurked just beyond the edge of perception. But even in the recesses of my subconscious, there was no sanctuary to be found, only the echoes of my own fears echoing back at me in a never-ending cacophony of despair. As the days turned into weeks, the boundaries between waking and dreaming began to blur, until I could no longer discern where one ended and the other began. Every shadow seemed to conceal a lurking malevolence, every whispered breath a harbinger of impending doom. It was during one such fitful night that I found myself ensnared in a nightmare, from which there seemed to be no awakening. I stood alone in a desolate landscape, the air thick with the stench of decay and the distant echoes of tortured souls. Above me, the sky was a roiling mass of darkness, pierced only by the sickly glow of a blood-red moon. As I stumbled through the nightmarish landscape, I was pursued by a horde of grotesque creatures, their twisted forms contorting in unnatural ways as they closed in around me. With every step, their numbers seemed to swell until I was completely surrounded, hemmed in on all sides by their malevolent presence. With nowhere left to run, I turned to face my pursuers, my heart pounding in my chest as I braced myself for the inevitable onslaught. But just as the first of the creatures lunged forward, a deafening roar shattered the silence, and a figure emerged from the darkness, wielding a gleaming blade forged from purest nightmare. With a single stroke, the figure dispatched my assailants, their twisted forms crumbling to dust before my eyes. As the last echoes of their screams faded into the night, the figure turned to me, its eyes burning with a fierce intensity that sent shivers down my spine. You are not alone, mortal, it intoned, its voice a melodic blend of menace and reassurance. There are forces at work in this world that defy comprehension, but with my guidance, you may yet find the strength to face them, and with that, the figure vanished into the night, leaving me alone once more in the desolate landscape. But as I stood there, bathed in the eerie glow of the blood-red moon, I felt a flicker of hope stir within me, a glimmer of courage that refused to be extinguished by the encroaching darkness. For in the heart of the nightmare, amidst the swirling chaos and despair, I had glimpsed a truth that transcended the bounds of mortal understanding a truth that whispered, of, untold horrors yet to come, but also of the indomitable spirit that resides within us all, and so, with newfound resolve, I stepped forward into the unknown, ready to confront whatever horrors awaited me with the knowledge that, even in the darkest of nights, there is always a glimmer of light to guide the way. As the night wore on, I found myself ensnared in a waking nightmare that defied reason and logic. Every shadow seemed to writhe with unseen malevolence, and the chill wind whispered sinister secrets that sent shivers down my spine. It was as if the very fabric of reality had been torn asunder, leaving me adrift in a realm of darkness and despair 
With trembling hands, I fumbled for my phone, desperate for some semblance of connection to the outside world. But as I dialed the numbers, a cold dread washed over me, for I knew that there would be no escape from the horrors that lurked in the shadows. As I waited for a response, the silence was shattered by a series of unearthly screams that echoed through the night. Like the wails of the damned, my heart pounded in my chest as I strained to discern the source of the cacophony. But all I could see was darkness stretching out before me like an endless abyss dot suddenly. A blinding light pierced. The darkness, illuminating a ghastly tableau that filled me with unspeakable dread. Before me stood a grotesque figure, its twisted form contorted in agony as it wreathed in torment. Its eyes glowed with a malevolent intensity, and its voice reverberated through the night like a chorus of the damned. Welcome to the nightmare, mortal, it hissed, its voice dripping with malice. You have entered a realm where the laws of reality hold no sway, where the darkest fears of humanity take form and substance. And now, you shall bear witness to the true horror that lies at the heart of existence. With a wave of its hand, the figure conjured forth a horde of nightmarish creatures, their twisted forms looming ominously in the flickering light. As they closed in around me, their unearthly wails filled the air, drowning out the sound of my own screams. But just as I felt myself on the brink of despair, a sudden burst of courage surged through me banishing the suffocating grip of fear that had held me captive. With a defiant roar, I lashed out at my tormentors, striking blow after blow against their spectral forms dots as the creatures recoiled in pain. I seized the opportunity to flee, my heart pounding in my chest as I raced through the darkness. Behind me, the nightmarish tableau faded into the shadows, but I knew that the horrors that lurked within would haunt me forever. For in that fleeting moment of terror, I had glimpsed the true nature of the nightmare realm where darkness reigns supreme, and the line between reality and madness is forever blurred. And though I may have escaped its clutches for now, I know that the nightmare will always linger, waiting to claim me once more in the depths of the night. As I stumbled through the desolate landscape, a sense of foreboding weighed heavy upon me like a suffocating shroud enveloping my very soul. The air was thick with an unnatural chill, and the ground beneath my feet seemed to riff with unseen malevolence, as if it were alive with the whispers of the damned dot with each step. The darkness closed in around me, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare me in their cold embrace. I could hear the faint echoes of sinister laughter, echoing through the night, taunting me with the promise of eternal torment, suddenly. The ground beneath me began to tremble, and I felt a surge of primal fear grip my heart. I turned to flee, but it was too late the earth erupted in a shower of dirt and debris, and a monstrous creature emerged from the depths below. It was like nothing I had ever seen before. A grotesque amalgamation of flesh and bone, its eyes burning with a feral hunger that sent shivers down my spine. With a deafening roar, it lunged towards me, its jagged teeth gleaming in the pale moonlight. I scrambled to escape its clutches, my heart pounding in my chest as I raced through the darkness. But no matter how fast I ran, the creature was always close behind, its unearthly howls echoing through the night like the cries of a thousand lost souls. As I reached the edge of the abyss, I knew that there was nowhere left to run. With a final surge of courage, I turned to face my pursuer, my hands trembling as I prepared to meet my fate head-on. But just as the creature closed in for the kill, a blinding light pierced the darkness, illuminating the night with its radiant glow. I shielded my eyes against the glare, unable to comprehend the source of this divine intervention. And then, from out of the light, emerged a figure a warrior clad in gleaming armour, wielding a sword forged from the very essence of light itself. With a single stroke, he struck down the creature, banishing it back into the depths from whence it came. Begone, foul beast! He cried, his voice echoing with the power of a thousand thunderstorms. This realm is not yours to claim, 
As the creature vanished into the darkness, the warrior turned to me, his eyes burning with a fierce intensity that filled me with awe. Fear not, mortal, he said, his voice calm yet commanding. You have faced the darkness and emerged victorious. But remember, there are forces in this world, far greater than you can imagine, and they will stop at nothing to claim your soul. And with that, he vanished into the night, leaving me alone once more in the darkness. But as I stood there, bathed in the glow of his divine light, I knew that I had been forever changed by the horrors I had witnessed. For in the heart of the abyss, amidst the swirling chaos and despair, I had glimpsed a truth that transcended the boundaries of mortal understanding a truth that whispered of untold terrors, yet to come, but also of the indomitable spirit that resides within us all dots and though the night may be long and the shadows may be deep, I will never again cower in fear, for I know that as long as there is light, there is hope, and with that knowledge burning bright within my soul, I will face whatever nightmares may come, secure in the knowledge that I am not alone in the darkness, as the night draped its suffocating veil over the city. I found myself ensnared in a labyrinth of terror from which there seemed to be no escape. Every step I took echoed, with the hollow resonance of impending doom, and the shadows whispered malevolent secrets that curled around my mind like icy tendrils. With a trembling hand, I reached for the flickering street lamp, its feeble light casting long, twisted shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. My heart thundered in my chest as I pressed forward, each footfall echoing through the empty streets like the tolling of a funeral bell. But no matter how fast I ran, the darkness pursued me relentlessly, its inky tendrils curling around my ankles with each faltering step. I could feel its icy breath on the back of my neck, a cold whisper of death that sent shivers racing down my spine. As I stumbled through the desolate alleyways, a sense of dread settled over me like a suffocating blanket. Shapes loomed in the darkness, their twisted forms twisting and writhing with an otherworldly malevolence that defied comprehension. With each passing moment, the night seemed to grow darker, its oppressive weight pressing down on me like a leaden shroud. I could hear the faint rustle of movement all around me, the sound of unseen horrors lurking just beyond the edge of my vision. And then, just when I thought I could bear no more, I stumbled upon a dilapidated building, its crumbling for Wade looming ominously in the moonlight. With a sinking heart, I realised that I had no choice but to seek shelter within its decaying walls, for the night showed no signs of relenting dot as I stepped through the shattered doorway. A chill wind swept through the abandoned halls, carrying with it the faint scent of decay and despair. The air was thick with the weight of centuries, and every creaking floorboard seemed to whisper of unspeakable horrors lurking in the shadows. With trepidation clawing at my chest, I pressed forward into the darkness, my senses on high alert for any sign of danger. But no amount of caution could prepare me for what lay ahead. For within the depths of the abandoned building, something ancient and malevolent stirred. With each step I took, the air grew colder, the darkness thicker, until I could barely see my own hand in front of my face. And then, just as I was on the brink of despair, I heard it the sound of something moving in the darkness, its ragged breath echoing through the empty halls. With a sinking heart, I realised that I was not alone in the abandoned building. Something was hunting me, its predatory gaze fixed upon me with an intensity that sent shivers racing down my spine. I could feel its presence lurking, just beyond the edge of my vision, waiting to strike Dot as I stumbled blindly through the darkness, my heart pounding in my chest. I knew that I was trapped in a nightmare from which there could be no escape. For in the heart of the night, there are terrors beyond imagining, and I had stumbled blindly into their grasp as the night pressed in around me like a suffocating embrace. I realised that I had ventured too far into the realm of darkness, and now I must face the consequences of my folly. Every shadow seemed to pulse with a sinister energy, 
and the air was heavy with the weight of unseen terrors. Lurking just beyond the edge of my perception, with trembling hands, I pressed forward, my heart pounding in my chest as I navigated the twisting labyrinth of abandoned corridors. But no matter which path I took, the darkness seemed to close in around me, its suffocating embrace threatening to swallow me whole. And then, just as I thought I could bear no more, I stumbled upon a door at the end of a long, winding hallway. With a sinking heart, I realized that this was my only chance for escape, my last hope of breaking free from the nightmarish prison that held me captive, summoning every ounce of courage I possessed. I flung open the door and stepped into the blinding light of dawn. The darkness recoiled at the touch of the sunlight, its malevolent presence dissipating like smoke on the wind as I emerged into the cool embrace of the morning air. I knew that I had survived the nightmarish ordeal, that I had faced my deepest fears and emerged victorious, and though the memory of that harrowing night would haunt me forever, I knew that I would carry on, stronger and braver for having faced the darkness head-on. To those who have followed me on this journey, I extend my deepest gratitude. Your support and encouragement have meant more to me than words can express. And though the night may be long, and the shadows deep, remember that even in the darkest of times, there is always light to guide. US Home. Thank you, and may you always walk in the light. End.